How to do? It's Thursday. I hope it's a good one for you. And for a minute, welcome to my little world. Or as Jed Clampett would say, come on in, set a spell, take your shoes off. Y'all come back now, you hear? <laughs> well, anyway, enough about that kind of thing. You know, people can be kind of frustrating. Have you ever noticed that? It seemed like in any group, there's always at least that one person, that one guy, who just seemed like he's bound to be a problem. And nobody really wants to talk to him that much, because every time you do, all you're going to hear about is the, the bad things, the negative things. It's just, just kind of hard to like in a way. Maybe we ought to go home and look in the mirror, though. We'll get to that in a moment. You know, I know Will Rogers said he never met a man he didn't like, but Will's been dead for quite a number of years. Man, uh, what, about 85 years or so? Will's been dead, and he, he hadn't met some of the people that we know. <laughs> oh, I know people are people. We understand that. We often hear people say that, uh, uh, you know, it'd be a great job if it weren't for the people. Preachers say that quite often. This would be a great job if it wasn't for the people I had to deal with. Uh, well, sometimes we need to look and think, maybe it's not those other people that are so much of a problem. Maybe we need to look in the mirror, recognize there might be a problem there. But people are frustrating. We're frustrated at others, and people, other people are frustrating to us, so that's the reality of life. But what are we going to do about it? How are we going to handle it? Even Jesus got frustrated with people. Think about that after he'd been at that momentous time on the mountain with those three disciples and been transfigured, and Moses and Elijah there in, in that sense, and then Peter, James, and John, and all the excitement of that as they came back to to the rest of the people, and they find a problem there. Jesus said, verse 17 in Matthew 17, O oh, faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I bear with you? Sounds a lot like some of us when we're caught up in traffic, doesn't it? You wonder, how long are we going to have to deal with people? What's the matter with them? Jesus was frustrated with them too. At the same time, if you follow the story that that's found in, Jesus called for the bringing of that, that boy that was uh, so possessed or had such a problem and he was brought to him and Jesus took care of the problem. People were excited about it. Even his close disciples wanted to know more. It's a great story, but it does show that people can be pretty frustrating. So what are we going to do about it? How are we going to handle that? I guess maybe the, the old adage is just begin at home. Begin with me. My dad used to like to quote, offer the quote, he who would have friends must first be, uh, first himself be a friend. I almost didn't get the quote out, did I? You start at home. You start with yourself. You say, I'm going to work on me. And I'm going to be the better friend. I'm going to be the better husband. I'm going to be the better member in this. I'm going to try not to say the wrong things. I'm try not to aggravate people unnecessarily. I'm going to try to be cooperative wherever I can. Yes, I'll say what I believe, but I'll say it with care. We might season it with salt a little bit, quote Paul. We'll say it with love. We'll say it with care. But it will be seasoned with salt. It'll do what it's supposed to do. But let it come from a heart of, of recognition, a heart of diplomacy, a heart of love for people. The kindness that we show to others, the courtesy we show to others, the willingness to cooperate that we show to others can be a truly contagious spirit. Suppose we all had the same attitude that old Will Rogers had. We're just never going to meet somebody we don't like. We're just going to try to like whoever we meet. 
True, we might not always be successful about it, but if we make the effort, if we make the effort, it just might be a whole lot better than we think. Hmm. What can I do about those difficult people around me? <laughs> really, probably not a whole lot about them. But if we just try to make ourselves not difficult, it could make a world of difference in a whole situation. So today, man, for the future, let's go into every situation with the idea, how can I make this situation as comfortable and as good and as right as possible and have that cooperative spirit to try to be the best we can be toward others? Kind of interesting that Jesus would say that he had a commandment to give, to love others, and that love would be example by him. A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another as I have loved you. He goes into the next verse, John 13, 34 and 35, and that that love for one another would be a hallmark of who they are the recognizable hallmark of who they are. So today and into the foreseeable future, let's be that cooperative, caring, loving participant in what we can be and what we can do. I think it'll make life better for all of us. Just might make it a little more enjoyable, especially in a difficult time. Hey, glad you're with me today. Be encouraged. Everybody gets frustrated. But let's work on number one and make the world a little better place. Thank you. We'll see you again a little further down the road.